This is Dr. Masood Yusuf from the Division of Science and Technology, University of Education, Lahore. I am going to be your instructor for the course Introduction to Material Sciences. This video lecture will cover following contents. First of all, we will define what is optimization of a structure. How optimization of a structure works. An example will be given in which we will demonstrate how to perform optimization of a structure having cubic unit cell. How to set up calculations in computational codes such as quantum espresso. Where to find total energies and volume data in output file. A direct method will be discussed that will show how to calculate optimized latest constant using VC relax option. Lastly, study material will be furnished. Students can go through those materials and can develop deep understanding on the aforementioned topics. What is optimization of a structure? Let us define it. It is the process of finding an arrangement in space of a collection of atoms where the net interatomic force on each atom is acceptably close to zero. It is often first calculation in any computational science process. There are some other terms that are usually, usually used for optimization of a structure. So one should not be confused if one see other terms instead of optimization of a structure. For example, energy optimization, geometry minimization, geometry optimization, relaxed structure, ground state structure, minimum energy structure, structure with relaxed parameters. So all these terms which are used, they are about only optimization of a structure. So one should not be confused if one notice a different term instead of optimization of a structure. Let us proceed further. How optimization of a structure works. So as we have learned from the definition that an optimized structure is the one that has interatomic forces close to zero. So how does this happen? Let us consider a simple example of hydrogen molecule. In a hydrogen molecule, the bond length is 0.74 angstrom. If we calculate the total energy of a hydrogen molecule, then it will be greater than the sum of energy of two individual hydrogen atoms. 
that means when we brought together two hydrogen atoms then the energy start to decrease as you can see from this figure in which energy is on y axis and bond length is along x axis so when we brought together two hydrogen atoms from a further further distance then they start to create a bond as we as they come closer they form the bond which is the due to the sharing of electrons so as you can see as the bond length is decreased the energy is also decreased so there come a point when the hydrogen molecule has a minimum energy which correspond to a bond length of 0.74 angstrom if we brought bring together these hydrogen atoms more closer than 0.74 angstrom one will notice that the energy start to increase and at a shorter bond length shorter than 0.74 angstrom the energy is always higher this is because when we brought these hydrogen atoms closer than the standard 0.74 angstrom value the electronic cloud it creates some kind of repulsion and due to this repulsion the overall total energy of the molecule is increased so there is a minimum energy of the hydrogen molecule and it corresponds to a specific bond length which is in this case 0.74 angstrom so this is the basic principle that any molecule or a group of atom has a standard or ground state value of the bond length if we in further depart or if we increase the bond length from the ground state value then the energy is increased or if we decrease the bond length from this ground state value then the energy is also increased so minimum energy correspond to a specific value of the bond length and this is the optimized value of the bond length our task is to find that optimized value of the bond length or in case of unit cell optimized value of the latest constant for example from these two figures which show eight atoms in a figure a and eight eight atoms in figure b the configuration b has atoms where the net interatomic force on each atom is minimum as compared to configuration a so for a we have the atoms which are very close to each other and for b they are further apart as compared to a and so b has less energy as compared to a so let us proceed further 
let us give an example performing optimization of a structure having cubic unit cell for simplicity we have chosen a cubic unit cell how to do this how to optimize a unit cell having cubic symmetry step 1 first of all what we will do we will find experimental or theoretical that can be computational latest constant from the literature review we will do literature review from the google scholar or web of science we will find out different papers about that material and we will select the value of the latest constant from those papers why we are doing this because this will be a good guess to be used for optimization process this is not the is essential because even we if we do not have a literature or a paper or a latest constant value for that material we can still perform optimization but in that case it will take much time so we will use a guess value that will be used for optimization process with the help of literature review we will take that initial guess so for example this is a cubic unit cell having latest constant a so its latest constant a is same in all three directions x y and z step 2 let the value of the latest constant suggested by literature review is a 10.15 bohr so we are just assuming the value let us consider that the value from the literature view is 10.15 bohr it's just a hypothetical value what we will do next run the total energy calculations for latest constant range 9.8 to 10.7 this is just a range so we will choose a sufficient range with a step of 0.1 bohr and from this range we will move from the lower limit to upper limit 10.7 with the step of 0.1 bohr so 9.8 then 9.9 9.10 so we will choose a small step and in this way we will proceed and what we will do we will collect total energy and volume of the cell for each latest constant so for 9.8 we will 9.8 bohr latest constant we will run the total energy calculation and after that calculation we will collect total energy and volume of the cell so in this way we will prepare a table cell volume and total energy so cell volume is due to the selection of the latest constant so for example a is 9.8 so so this will correspond to a certain cell volume so after that what we will do we will just plot uh, the uh, plot a graph between cell volume and total energy so for example we have this plot so total energy is on y axis and volume is along bohr this volume will be collected after the 
successful run of the total energy calculation. So you can see the graph will look like this. So, so this is just a hypothetical graph just to demonstrate uh, that how we can optimize a structure and how we can collect the optimized value of the latest constant. So you can see that for each volume we have energy and we have this nice curve. So this nice curve there will be some minimum energy on this uh, minimum energy on this graph. This will correspond to a value of volume and we will collect that volume uh, which is corresponding to the minimum energy on this graph which is shown in red color red dot so what we will do uh, for a simple case like a simple cubic uh, unit cell that optimized volume if we take uh, 1 by 3 uh, of that uh, optimized value volume we will get the latest constant as we know that the volume in case of cubic unit cell is simply uh, latest cube times 3 so all of the uh, values uh, along x y and z all are uh, latest constant a so this is how we will get the latest constant so this is the theory behind how we can get the optimized uh, value for the latest constant. So in any computation code such as quantum espresso, VASP, Wien2K, so this is how we proceed. Let me give you an example from the actual code which is in this case quantum espresso but you can use any code so for example in quantum espresso how to set up calculations in quantum espresso we have different name list such as control system electrons ions cell atomic sp species etc so in calculation you will put relax this option so in your computation code it may be different so you need to uh, choose that option uh, which is for total energy calculation and uh, you uh, this is the latest constant value so you will start for example from some specific value uh, in previous case I have suggested that you will proceed from 9.8 to 10.7 so here you will put the latest constant value and I assume that uh, you have already optimized the value of k points and uh, cut off energy values so I'm just focusing on optimized la latest constant in this video so put the value here and then run the calculation so this is the uh, dot in file case dot in file so you need to uh, you need to opt relax if you are using quantum espresso so you need to run this structure file and after that what will happen where to find total energies and volume so you need data for this table in order to plot this so how you can do it so after the successful run of your calculation what will you do you will open the case dot out file from the quantum espresso and in the at the bottom you will see that you will find 
total energy value so this is the total energy value you will collect this is in red work so you can change it to any electron volt or something else uh, as per your requirement so this is the total energy value and this is the volume value of the volume so you can see so it is in on cubic angstrom or atomic units uh, you will collect this value so you will prepare a table and after that you simply uh, plot this uh, nice curve and you will find out the uh, minimum uh, energy corresponding uh, to a optimized well, uh, volume and from optimized volume you will collect the optimized latest constant so there is another way instead of going through the uh, relax option you can opt another option and this is a direct way and direct method of calculation using vc relax vc relax option is in quantum espresso uh, in wasp uh, one can use isif option so uh, different codes have uh, this option so you can opt according to your need so what is this direct method you simply need to put vc relax and put the initial guess value whatever is the from the literature review so for example it is 10 point 15 so this is only a single calculation in one uh, step calculation you can find out the optimized value of the latest constant you do not need to define the range of the latest constant and then for each step you need you need to run the calculation you can avoid uh, that uh, uh, difficult uh, or time consuming uh, process so we what will vc relax do so we, for vc relax cell underscore do free is all so for a uh, this material so you simply need to run the calculation and what will vc relax do vc relax will uh, do the energy several uh, total energy calculations it will automatically vary the uh, latest constant and it will automatically uh, calculate the energies corresponding to the uh, different latest constants and after that it will compare and it will give you the final result of the minimized or ground state structure and you can collect the value from the output file but the problem in this case of uh, uh, qu quantum espresso vc relax is not implemented with all kind of pseudo potential and spin polarized calculation so this is a problem so for example if you have a magnetic material and you want to use pbe pseudo potentials you cannot utilize this uh, method uh, because it is still need to be implemented in the quantum espresso so this is the problem so that's why you need to follow the uh, first method so for this cell do free uh, we can have several options default is all that all axis and angles are moved during a vc relax calculation so depending upon your uh, requirement you can use other options also uh, for example you can if you use this instead of all at cell do free only the x component of axis is moved so only the atoms will be relaxed along x axis and other axis will be fixed so only the variations of the 
movement of the atoms will be allowed along the x axis and others will be fixed so there are several options depending upon your requirement uh, you can uh, opt the option so this this is from the quantum espresso official web website uh, from the input data description so that's all uh, that's all about the optimization of a unit cell this is the study material you can go through these materials uh, this ma study material will help you in developing sound understanding on the aforementioned topics thank you for having me that's all